Why are you this body? Out the name of Jesus Christ. Out the name of Jesus Christ. I, I command you out the no. name of Jesus. Why are you? No. Why are you? I'm a spiritual husband. You're a spiritual I'm husband. Spiritual. No. Hello guys, it's your boy King IKP and I am I'm out here for another while to be settled. Ten seconds to you all that have been sharing my video. I love you all. Keep sharing my video. Anywhere you see my video, share and God will bless you. On my left here is this beautiful young lady. Um she mess messaged me on the Facebook and she said a lot of things and I was heartbroken, honestly, because the story you know be something we say. It's not an easy one. You know when you're struggling to come out of something, you're struggling, but you just can't because you've not applied the right distance. So she actually messaged me that she needs help, very serious help because she's going out of hand. But I don't want to say too much. I would like her to explain the whole matter by herself. So young lady, please, um, like you said, you said you wanted us to say it outside. That was why I brought you out here like this abby mm -hmm. okay. because you are according to you you want a change so um tell me, what's your name my name is progress progress okay progress tell my audience exactly what you told me exactly what you told me no just don't okay. don't come don't don't cry and just be calm i know you are, you are shy but i used to say more can and come outside uh, so just at this point of time, I don't even know where to start from. Let's start from start anywhere. From, like, I'm really going through a loss. Oh, okay, where will I... Let me say, let me start from my past relationship. I, I have a boyfriend that I love so much. Okay. But a day I found out... I went to my boyfriend's house and I found out that my boyfriend was with another girl. So at that point of time... So I didn't know it was with a girl. So I went to, like, when I went into the house, it was with another girl. And was like, what am I doing here? I said, what, honey, what am I doing? What am I doing here? I came to my boyfriend's house to, why he asked me, what am I doing here? I didn't even know when he started beating. Like, started beating, like, all over my body. I was like, God, am I the one going through this or what? God, daddy, I left the house and I was crying like over a moon. I could not forget what happened to me. Like I was crying bitterly because I've never in my life experienced that before. So after the, after some years, I have to forget about everything. Okay, because of that incident, you guys broke up. Yes, we broke up because of that. Because of another girl, he beat me because of another girl. So okay. since from them, I started having this eight to eight men. Okay. I don't want to go into a relationship anymore. I don't want any man in my life anymore. So I decided to stay on my own, like take care of myself, anything I knew that I provide for myself. So there was a day I was just alone at home. And I don't know what really happened. I don't know. I can't even express the feeling. So I don't know what really happened. So I started... <laughs> God, I can't even pronounce the word because no, you just have to try. You understand? So that because there are so many, there are a million of your kind of people out there that needs help too, and that are hiding. So I, first of all, I must commend you for coming out this bold to say it. Maybe everybody gets this type of mind to come talk. You understand? So just do the counts and say it as it is. I started. <laughs> something that a man would do to me, I started doing to myself. Like, like started masturbating. Yes. Okay. Like I don't even know when it started, but the <laughs> the next thing I started having pleasure in it. It became an habit to me, and it was so difficult for me to stop it. And like I've tried a lot to like stop it, but there's no way. I I don't know. I don't even know what to do. I prayed on my own, but I think it's not. It's I think the spirit behind it is not just ordinary. So I don't know. I say let me come outside to tell everybody if you have any advice for me. If you, you can were, help me. And you were saying something. You were saying something like, uh, 
when you were when you are sleeping in your dreams, you used to see. Yes, 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 man. yes, yes. I used to see spiritual husband. Like I would be seeing a man sleeping with me in the dream, like touching my body, like no mass. Yes, we would be doing no mass things in the dream, and I found it that it became an like I used to, like it became over and over and over and over, and it was very like I don't even know, I don't know. Actually, let me come and meet him. If you have any help for me, I think yeah, I think you can help me out. So let me come to so that you can pray for me or any advice. You can tell me anywhere to go that I will I be able to. Uh, so I know that at this point in your life you need help. So, but uh, in the course of this habit, as men, men, I've, I've, I've normally, got... normally they used to come, but I don't, I don't want to do anything with man because uh, what I passed. Like my past relationship is really hurting me today too. I don't want to have anything to do with man anymore because anything as a man, uh, man will be person will be the person go love or put for mind. Like I don't know, I don't want any man in my life. I don't have pl- pleasure in men anymore. I don't want. I see them like I see them as my fellow girls. Okay. I see them like my fellow girls. So I don't know. I don't want to have anything to do with any man. I just want you to help me. Let me. Try to stop this thing I'm doing. I know it's very bad in me. I know it's bad, but I can't just, just can't help stop it. it. Okay. So I just want you to help me, please. I really need your help. I will try my. The funny thing is, as you told me about the, the thing, you wrote me on Facebook. I immediately called my papa and I explained everything to him. I told him that uh, daddy, this is the situation at hand. Though. So he prayed about it too, and he told me that there's a special problem. Like this your matter is a special problem. You understand? And that your special husband we need to disconnect you first with that your special husband first before um we deliver you out of that masturbation, spirit of masturbation. You understand? So um guys, um for those of you that did not hear her clearly or did not understand what she said, she said um she was in a relationship before and then um, she broke up with her boyfriend because she went to his house unannounced and um, only for her to find him with another lady in his house. And normally she was supposed to react because normally if you see somebody, your 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 a female with your boyfriend, are supposed to be angry. But she she was angry and tried to react. It was the one that even started beating her on top, started beating her. So she got angry and she said she can't be in that kind of relationship. First of all, I, co- I must commend you for what you did. You did great. That that is no ma- woman. No, you can. You, you, I don't advise anybody. If you're in a relationship that your boyfriend is raising even the slightest finger on you, you better run from that relationship before you end up killing yourself. Better run away from that relationship because. A man should not lay his hand on a woman. I know women can be very, very, very dramatic. And they can be very, very... Like, they can tempt you to the level that you can you want to do something. But, you see, there's what we call self-esteem and self-control. If you have this thing, I think you'll go far in life as a man. So, um, I don't advise anybody to be in that kind of relationship. So I told Papa about the whole incident and then Papa prayed about it and he gave me um, this um, anointed water that I should come and minister it to her and I will deliver her here and now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I am not doing anything by my power. I am just a mortal man, but I am being sent by God and to save humanity. So um, please, um, manager, help me with that water. Yeah. So, young lady, this is the anointed water that was given to me by my papa. He said I should pray for you, and by God's grace, everything that is disturbing you, you will be free from it. Okay. In the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. All I want from you is, uh, you see this life, um, people do complain that, hey, I, I do go to church, I do this, I pay tithe, I pay this one, I do this one, but everything is not working. First of all, the first thing uh, you need to have faith. You need to believe. You need to connect your spirit. Because if you don't connect your spirit, if you don't have faith, it's not going to work. You understand? So I keep telling people, hey, I, I, I've been going to church. I pay my tithes. That is not the case. That is not the case. That is not the case. 
The thing is, do you believe? Do you believe? Distance is not a barrier. Wherever you are, London, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, anywhere you are, if you connect with God, you will receive your blessing. You will receive your deliverance immediately. You understand? Yeah. So, um, guys, I, I want to conduct what my papa instructed me to do. So, uh, you guys should follow me on this journey. And I want, and for those of you that are having problem, similar problem, I use her as a point of contact. As I pray for, as I deliver, you all will be delivered in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You all will be delivered in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Father, we declare that we love of you we declare everlasting love for you father we declare father we declare that we love you we declare everlasting love for you Anointing flow in my life from my head to my toes. Give me the power to do your works, dear Lord. I pray. Hey. Anointing flow in my life, cover my head to toe. Give me the power to do your will. Oh Lord, I pray. Amen. I pray, I pray. Oh Lord, I pray. Jehovah, I pray. Don't allow it, don't allow this world to take me away from your lovely hands. I pray. Oh Lord, I pray. Father, I have come as you have sent me, Lord. Father, this young lady needs your help. Father, she needs your help. She needs deliverance. She wants to turn away from her bad life and focus on the way of the truth, which is you. Father, you gave me this anointed water as a point of contact to deliver whatever spirit, whatever thing, that is not of God in your life. Whatever thing that is causing you to misbehave, that is causing you to masturbate, that causes you to hate men. Normally, you are supposed to be a wife. You are supposed to. There is no form. There, every spirit of masturbation will leave you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spirit of masturbation will leave you in the name of Jesus. Amen. As I minister this water into you. I cleanse you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, every spirit connecting you. I stand under the grace backing God's servant. And I decree, I declare you free in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Christ. Out in the name of Jesus. Christ. Every spirit. Out in the name of Jesus. Christ. Why are you this body? Out in the name of Jesus. Christ. Out in the name of Jesus. Christ. I, I command you out in the name of Jesus. No. Why are you? No. Why are you? I'm a spiritual husband. You're a spiritual husband? No. Why would you live her? No. Why would you live her? He belongs to me. This body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. He belongs to me. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Out of in the name of Jesus. Out of in the name of Jesus. Out of in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of masturbation. Out of in the name of Jesus. Out of in the name of Jesus. I cast and by the name of Jesus. Jesus, take control. Holy Spirit, take control in the name of Jesus. Out of her, do not connect yourself with her. This body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I declare and declare that you are free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name forevermore. Be that we exalted, Father. Father, in your word you said you will not disappoint us. Once we call upon you, you will answer us, Lord Jesus. Father, thank you for this one again. Thank you for this miracle. Stand up. You are free in Jesus' name. Come. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Turn your body. 
according to my papa once i minister this water into you everything that is connecting you with darkness will be removed in the name of jesus Amen. you and darkness has no connection as from today Amen. you understand me i like the fact that you came out you courageously and you came to speak there are so many people out there that are afraid to come and talk but i urge you i urge you whatever the case may be distance is not a barrier the move of god nothing can major to it you understand what i'm saying so please do not hide anything if you have any problem message me on facebook and god almighty will help you amen young lady do you have anything to say to your viewers please please if you know you are in this situation like you are in my shoe all you have to do is you have to stop it because it's bad you have to stop it like you need to stop it you need to look for even if it's a pastor look for somebody that will help you out because i, I know what i went through so please, if you know what you are doing, if you know you are doing the same thing I'm doing, I was doing before, I want you to please, I beg with the name of God, please, you have to stop it. If you can't stop it on your own, just look for a pastor or look for somebody, a, best, a Bible believing church. Just go and tell them what you are going through. And I think by the grace of God, you will be healed as where I'm healed now. Amen. And God will help you. Amen. Now I just have a, I just have a few words to tell you. Nowadays, one thing about deliverance is once you have been delivered, that doesn't mean temptations are not going to come. Okay. Now I will want you to, if you have any of those kind of things in your phone, first of all, as we get to your house, delete everything that will connect you to pornography, because definitely the devil is a very tricky somebody. You understand? It will play with your mind. But I want you to know that God has set you free. You will not see that spiritual husband again. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So please, when you get to your house, visit everything. I and will. make sure if the right man comes to you, God God will speak to you that this is a man. Give him a chance. You understand me? Give him a chance. I will. I will try. Give him a chance to be with you. And you will start to live a normal life like a normal girl. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. God bless so, guys, um, please um, share this video and remain blessed in Jesus' name. Okay. Um, let's go.